Welcome back everybody to another video in this stock replacement series. In previous lessons, we went over who stock replacement is for and when you should potentially be using it. We talked about the advantages and disadvantages versus just using the ETFs directly and also a full list of the rules of engagement. With that, now we can get into a real example and I'm gonna show you how to short volatility with a VXX put option using the stock replacement method. Hopefully at the end of this video, you're gonna see that once you practice this once or twice, it's really just about as easy as any other trade. I'll take it slow in the video, of course, but when you're doing it on your own in the future, a couple of minutes tops is all it's going to take you. Trust me, anybody from any background can do this. So let's get into the example. So we're already in a trade within our tactical volatility strategy. But just for today, let's assume that this is a fresh new position and we just got the green light to jump into a new trade. So here we've got our rules of engagement and we're just going to make sure that we don't violate any of these rules. So number one there, we only use securities with a highly liquid options market. In the case of our tactical volatility strategy, we always use the VXX as our underlying security. It's one of the biggest volatility ETPs and it does have a very large and liquid options market. Number two there, we only initiate positions during in mid to low volatility. Now this is because when you're buying options, even though in our case this is a price direction trade and we are just trying to simulate the VXX, even still we have to keep in mind that long options are what's called long vega. The higher the volatility, the more expensive those contracts will be. Vega is a measure of how much an option value will change given changes in the volatility of the underlying security. The higher the volatility, the more expensive our contracts will be. So to reduce the vega exposure, we do want to initiate trades when the market is relatively cold. Now, in our case, this will already be true because we only ever get the green light to short volatility when it is mid to low. That's how the strategy is designed. All right, so here we are inside the Thinkorswim trading platform. Remember, yours might look a little different than this, but all the functionality will be the same. So now we'll go over to the Analyze tab. Remember, we are using the VXX for our trade, and we can see we've got all the option strings here that we can choose from. Our third rule is that we target options with 100 to 130 days to expiration. Recall from previous lessons, we do this because the longer dated contracts will lower the impact of what's called theta. Remember, theta is just how much an option contract's value will change given the passage of time. In the case of long VXX put options, the theta will be slightly hurting our trade here. So to combat this, we just extend those days to expiration outside of about 100. You can see how this works. Theta starts to affect options a lot more on the shorter end of the curve. As long as we're playing on the long end a couple of months out, the negative impact of theta will be greatly reduced. So looking at all of our choices here, the closest we can get to 100 days is this December contract with 114. It's never going to be exact, so 100 to 130 is the ballpark range. 114 works just fine. We'll open this up, and this is what it looks like. Rule number four there, we only need the first part. Since we're shorting the VXX, we're going to be using put options. In thinkorswim, calls are here on the left, and the puts are over on the right, so we're going to be playing over here. Rule five is that we target between 0.5 and 0.7 delta options. Delta refers to how much an option value changes, with respect to changes in the underlying security. So if we're doing 0.5 to 0.7 Delta VXX options, we can expect we're capturing a little over half of the movement in the VXX itself. And remember, we're using the SVXY as our ETF of choice in the tactical volatility strategy. SVXY is already a minus 0.5 times inverse volatility ETF. So it's very similar to these 0.5 to 0.7 Delta options. VTS members can either use the SVXY itself if they have access to it, or this stock replacement method. It's essentially equivalent. Both of them are about half the movement of the VXX, which from a risk reward perspective, that's exactly what we want. So now we can just find that delta. That's the column right here. And we just scroll down and we pick one of these. Now there is a little discretion involved here. Every month will look a little different. I will always give the trade instructions directly in the daily email. But for this trade example, this minus 0.61 delta, this is the one, the 35 strike. So I'll highlight this and we will buy to open a long put option. And this is what that looks like. This is the standard shape of a put option. We we'll move this over. We've got the current price right here. And of course, we want the VXX to continue bleeding down so we can make a profit. It's a short volatility trade. Rule number six is that we always trade cash secured options. This essentially means that we always reserve the full amount of capital required to hold the underlying shares. Remember, options trading is highly capital efficient, and this is how we size the option to make sure we're not taking on any additional leverage. So right now, the VXX is 
trading at a price of about 25.14. Since one option contract always equals 100 shares of the underlying, if a person was to just short the VXX shares directly here, 100 shares would require capital of $2,514. So that's how much we're going to use per one option contract. It's a simple divider. You just take whatever your tactical volatility strategy allocation size is, and you divide that by $2,514. That's how many contracts you open. So to go through a simple example, let's say a person had an account size of $100,000. Currently, and remember videos can't be edited, so this may change in the future, but right now the tactical volatility strategy is 20% of the total portfolio. This means a person with a $100,000 account would have $20,000 to dedicate to this trade. You just take that $20,000 and divide by that multiplier of 2,514. That equals about 7.95 contracts. Since we always round down to the nearest full contract, even if it's very close, like it is in this case, this trader with a $100,000 account size would open seven contracts. Now, just to hammer the point home here, I'll do another example so you can see how easy this is. Like I said before, once you do this a few times, it'll just be second nature and you won't take more than a minute or two total. But let's say a trader has an account size of $50,000 and the VXX is trading at $12. Well, in this case, 20% to the $50,000 is dedicated to the tactical volatility strategy. So they have $10,000 to allocate to this trade. If the VXX is trading at $12, we just multiply that by 100 and our divider here is $1,200. You take your $10,000, divide by 1,200, that's 8.33. Again, we round down to the nearest full contract and a person with a $50,000 account with the VXX trading at $12, they're gonna open eight contracts. It's really that simple. It's just your allocation size divided by the cash secured multiplier. Don't let calculations discourage you. You've got your phone next to you. It's one simple calculation. So now I'm ready to go through this and show you how to execute a trade. We'll go over to the trade tab, make sure it's VXX. We scroll down to this December with 114 days. Remember the put options are over here on the right and we are selecting this 61 delta at the 35 strike. We are just going to buy to open a single put option. Now the only thing left is to actually size this position. With the VXX trading at 25.14, our multiplier is $2,514. I'm just gonna size the trade based on our current live stream account. We've got a total value of 123,348. I'm going to take 20% of that. And for this trade, I've got $24,669. Remember, it's a super easy calculation. I'm just gonna take that number and divide by 2,514. I end up with 9.81. I'm gonna round down to the nearest full share and I'm going to go ahead and buy nine of these. Now the market isn't live right now, but if it was, remember we are just going to use our 30 second rule, which is detailed in another lesson in this course. We're just gonna be a little bit patient and try to get something close to the mid price. So I would just go ahead and execute that and it would look like this. It might take a couple tries, but I would get the trade done and that trade would look exactly like this. The price would probably be somewhere a little bit lower. Right there, this is our long put option. Current price right there. And again, hopefully the VXX just bleeds down over time and we can make a nice profit here shorting volatility. The last rule of engagement, remember, is that we will rebalance this trade if it gets within about 75 days to expiration. Now, all that means is I don't know how long this current trend will last, of course. As long as the trade dial is pointing in the SVXY range, we're just gonna sit in this trade. Now, hopefully it lasts several months and we make a really good profit, but the longer we sit in this position, the more that theta will affect our trade. So all we would do, we can see that we have 114 days now. If we do catch a longer term trend and this number dips below 75, then we would do a simple rebalance. We would close that trade. We would initiate a new one at a further out expiration, probably just the January cycle, and we would keep going. We're just trying to keep that theta, which really isn't a big deal anyway, but we're just trying to reduce it to the least possible amount here. On very successful longer term trades, we will rebalance when it's necessary. As you can see, even though the video itself was a little long, when I actually got into doing the trade, it really was just a minute or two. Trust me, you're going to be able to do this no problem. Now remember, most VTS members will just choose to use the ETFs directly. That is easier, and if you have access to them, go ahead and do that. But for everybody else who either has to find an alternative solution, or maybe they just find the advantages appealing, now you know how to do stock replacement, and it means that everybody from every country, every account type, you can follow the VTS tactical volatility strategy. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily, and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.